Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4x4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer. And Merry Christmas to everyone. This is going to be my official loot video from Christmas 2015. Let's go. Okay, so to start off, let's just get it out of the way that yes, uh, Christmas is not just about gifts and, and uh, materialistic stuff and, and all that. Yes, it's all about, you know, uh, friends and family and spending time together and showing how much you appreciate one another and all that. But one of the ways in which you do show your appreciation for one another is the exchanging of gifts. So, yes, let's get that out of the way. I know it's not all materialistic and everything. However, I did get gifts, and so I do want to show, share them with you guys. So you can see what I got, and I can actually probably give you guys a couple of quick reviews on some of these items because it may be stuff that you're you didn't know about, and you may want to pick one up. And I can tell you what I, my initial thoughts are. So let's get started. So first of all, um, because this was me about uh, 30 minutes ago, right here. Yeah, we got like between a half a foot and a foot of snow last night, so I was out there shoveling my butt off uh, for, you know, well over an hour uh, a little bit ago. So I'm having me a nice dark beer. And you can, it actually shows you can see my etching. That, that was one of my Christmas gifts, was the etching done to my glass here, my beer mug. Greyhawk 4x4, thank you very much, in case you didn't see that on the other video. Uh, cheers. Nothing better when you're when you're out in the cold, shoveling snow. You're all come in all icy and snowy and everything else. Get a good dark beer, room temperature, not refrigerated. Helps warm you right up. So uh, another thing that helps you warm right up is my wife knows now. Now when you get when you get older and you tend to sit at the computer for quite for extended periods of time sometimes your feet will get cold uh, it's unavoidable especially when uh, outside at your house looks like this as it does right now uh, as I talked about with the shoveling and everything but I'm in a basement my I my game room is my basement converted to the game room, so right out my way, which is the window you can't see, there's a it, there's about a foot of snow right up against the window. So it it you know I do have a fireplace down here and everything, but uh, my wife got me these. These are called Toasty Toes, and they plug in via USB. And luckily, I have my my main rig that I do my recording and gaming and everything on. But I have a secondary rig here that I use for background music and stuff like that. Um, and if I'm in the middle of a game and I don't want to alt tab, I can look things up on there. I can Google stuff or whatever. And so what I can do is I plug these into that extra, which I've already done this morning in that other extra PC. Um, and they do warm up quickly. They don't get too hot. They're just warm to keep your feet warm. Uh, and they are fantastic. Now, having said that, I have no idea how long that they'll last, uh, what the durability will be, or anything, because I just got them. But I can tell you, initially, they seem to be an awesome idea. And they were, yeah, I mean, I, I think it was a fantastic uh, gift. So, uh, that's number one. Uh, second thing, let's see here. My wife got me, because she knows how much I love Lord of the Rings. I don't know how well that's going to show. The detail will show up on there. But that is Smog. And that is actually from the... Uh, on the box it says, you know, the desolation of Smog or whatever. But that's basically just him on his pile of gold. And it, even though it's a Christmas ornament, um, I, he will probably sit either on my desk or somewhere where he can be seen very easily. Maybe right here. Maybe right there. So, Just somewhere where he won't get knocked off and broken though. So, because I love Lord of the Rings. So, anything Lord of the Rings is a big winner for me. Um, the next thing. They're called Mighty Minis. 
And I got the Stormtrooper one. My wife got me the Stormtrooper one. That's what it looks like right there. And I'm going to show it to you um, on my bag here. What this is, I don't know if you can see this picture here, if you don't already know, is this has, it takes AA batteries, and you can use it if your phone dies, if your battery in your phone dies, uh, or any device, um, it gives you extra battery time, emergency battery time. So the applications are, get my bag here, because I've already put it on my convention bag, so you can see, so here's my convention bag, and it has a strap, and I strapped it on here, and it has a USB plug there, so basically with a USB extension cord, I, if my bat, if I'm at an, a convention and I'm covering the event, uh, and I'm walking around and my phone is drained, uh, I know that I can plug into this with the AA batteries in there, and I can get, it says uh, up to three hours of additional time. Now, I don't know what you know, of course, if you're taking video or pictures or what, who knows how much that'll actually be. But uh, it is, I think it's a cool idea because it, it can just hang from your bag like that. You can hook up a uh, extension cord and, and as long as you get your bag on your back, you, know, you got some extra battery time. So I, I thought it was a great idea and there's what it looks like right there. So, and again, I can't, I can't tell you what it, what the long term thing will be because I haven't field tested it yet, but we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Next thing, uh, my wife and I always have a thing where we get each other a gift card. Um, she always gets, I get her one for neat, she likes neaters, and she always gets me one for McDonald's because she knows I like McDonald's breakfast in the mornings for, for work and so forth. So, uh, yes, I'm fat. So, um, next thing, she went to my local game store here, Gamers Inn quick plug for gamer gamers in there because it is an awesome game store uh, and our friend Katrina there uh, who is the uh, basic person who manages it all day long uh, she had a list of the things that I had on my want list and my wife all my wife has to do is go in there and see Katrina and Katrina can tell her what things are on my want list and then my wife can pick something so I got Princes of the Apocalypse for D&D 5th edition I did not have this book and I do now so, another great addition to the library. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, and sticking with the Star Wars theme, because uh, of, you know, Force Awakens and everything else, uh, my wife got me a nice uh, Star Wars uh, calendar, and I really like this one because they're actually not photos or stills from the movie. Uh, this is actually artwork. Um, and it's pretty st highly stylized. So, like, there is Han Solo and Chewbacca. And they're all kind of like that, you know. Um, maybe you can see, there you go. You can see all of them there. It's actually pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is going up in the, in the stairwell there. Because i got no room in here, but it'll go up in the stairwell. So I'll have my, my calendar there. Um, another Star Wars item... Just one of those novelty things. This was in my stocking, of course. Um, I got my... So, she got me a Darth Vader uh, bottle opener. And it even makes noise. So when you, when you grab it, you open like that, and you hit the... And that's it. Uh, but I have bottle openers spread throughout the tavern here, as all of my gamer friends that come over and game here can tell you. And you can't step five feet. I got one right there. I could touch it right now if I wanted to. I think I got one up here. So this is nothing new. This is just another one to add to the collection. And this one is Star Wars and makes sound effects. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Then... Because I am a Raiders fan, and I know some of you probably hate the Raiders, and, and that's okay. Uh, let's see here. My wife got me my, for binge watching, she got me my Raiders throw here. And it even says, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom there, but somewhere there it says, it established 1960, somewhere there. 
So it actually says established 1960, so it's actually old school Raiders, which I love. So, um, so that's my new for binge watching TV shows, Doctor Who, you know, you name it, whatever. And then of course I got this shirt. My wife gave me this shirt. This is the the first order, uh, Kylo Ren and, and all and Kylo Ren here, and all that. So Star Wars shirt, calendar, bottle opener. Got my Raiders throw. Got the uh, Mighty Minis, and this is actually a Think Geek. Uh, it, there's a paper in there. It's, so I'm guessing if you go to thinkgeek.com, um, they'll have them there. Uh, got that. Um, the Princes of the Apocalypse. Um, my, of course, my awesome etching. Oh, the other thing that my friends who got me this got me the etching on here. Also got me, and you may not be able to see them. My, my Guinness. Pajama bottoms here, or whatever you want, fleece, fleece bottoms, or whatever. They're and they got Guinness on them. There you go. So, uh, and they are nice and warm as well. So between the uh, whatever the toasty toes or whatever toasty footies things, or whatever between those and these, uh, and my throw, I'm pretty much set for the winter. <laughs> and of course, as long as you gotta have gotta have a lot of beer, so. And then, from my other gaming group, the host, hostess, I should say, uh, Amber, she got me this awesome, she got it for all of us, came in a box with this, and then there was actually a package of um, uh, cream of tomato soup as well, it's kind of a little box set deal, but it's a, uh, it's a pretty awesome soup bug mole thing, I mean, it's huge. So, I think, I am one of the people that believe that all bowls should have handles. So, my favorite bowl upstairs doesn't match anything else, but it's got a big old handle on it. So, when I'm watching TV or something, if I got hot soup in there or whatever, I don't have to worry about it being too hot. But I got the handle, and now I got this sucker right here, which is absolutely perfect. So, I mean, that talk about a mug of hot chocolate. Now, that's a mug of hot chocolate right there, boy. You're set. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good haul for the for this year. I think so. Um, I hope you guys are having a good Christmas, spending time with folks and everybody and family and friends and all that. And and if you got some uh, particularly good uh, gifts that you would like to share or whatever, feel free to share them down below. Uh, I'd love to hear about them. And oh, I almost forgot. Um, I actually got from one of you, from one of my viewers, uh, I and I just installed it, I actually got a, a, a gift through Steam from one of my viewers uh, called This War of Mine, and I have not played it yet, I installed it, I'm going to play it today, check it out, see what it's all about, but uh, I, I really appreciate it, thank you very much for, you know who you are that sent it, so uh, appreciate it, thank you for watching, thank you for the gift. Merry Christmas to everybody, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.